I took my leave, bro, because the supply officer was just so corrupt, bro. The dude was Roy. Um, yeah, that's his name, bro. Like the dude was demoralizing, is the word for it, bro. Ooh, he right. like tried to take your spirit from you. It was like, it was like that Shang Shang Song from fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. Fucking good plugs right there, bro. Congratulations. I'm that. telling you, dog. But um. That's a bar, by the way. Oh, nah, I'm that is a bar. That is, that's what I was gonna say. Congratulations <laughs> on that. That's a fucking hey. bar right there. That's my fucking. All the cats from that. fucking um from the supply, they know they know already, bro. Yeah. Um, no, I think everybody. I think everybody shipwide knew who that dude was. I tried to get out before that. You know, I had like three or four months of um liberty, liberty not leave leave. I had it all stacked up because I never like spend money. I didn't want to take leave or whatever it is. So after we, so back to, yeah, okay. So back to that. So we went, we, we dumped off all those missiles to Iraq, right? And then um, I turned in my, I can't leave, um, leave of absence or some shit like that. Leave chit, leave chit. I had it leave all chit. signed up. Leave chit. So I had it all signed, bro. All signed up. Commanding officer signed it. XO signed it. Commanding um Command Master Chief signed that shit. Supply officer signed it. Disbo signed it. Everybody signed it. Even the I had to go to the gym. I had to go like I had to go to each department and get it signed. Yeah, because duty sections. Duty sections. Right. Yeah, yeah. So um I had it all signed up. And then I was supposed to take a helicopter out of there. And I was done with the Navy, dog. And it was that fucker, bro, that fucking supply officer, bro. If he did, if he would have never came on board that ship, I would have did a second tour. Hey, I feel you. I, like I said, and I was talking to Dallas about it. I was like, yo, <clears throat> there were so many rules written. In, and you kind of know because you were in S3 at that point. He was yeah, corrupt, you know? though. So I was in the barbershop. They wouldn't let me leave the barbershop. Yeah. And okay, so <laughs> that's what gets me, dog. Is like I'm up in um I'm over there with Phillips. I'm over there with um I can't remember my boy Backpack Commando. I can't remember boy's name Mike. I remember his first name Mike, but uh he was an SK3. Um, Wallace. Was it was it Wallace? Nah, nah. Um, this dude's Garcia. like a Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican dude. Garcia. He was, of, he was out of the deck. Garcia. Garcia. There you go. So I was with Garcia, Phillips, and one other cat. I can't remember the dude. I can't remember. There was another dude up there. So we was playing um, WWF back then. I think it was WWF wrestling down in the. <laughs> In the SK office. Oh, that they shit was lit, wasn't it? Setup, bro. Oh, they it was. Dude, it was just like it was just like the it was just like the barbershop. Dude, they, they were playing Halo. Up. They were playing Halo before Halo was cool. Yeah, I bet On they were. On dual screens. Yo, those fools were some um technology technology type guys. <laughs> you had uh, that's when Holman and and uh, Wallace, Raymond, and all them were down there. Chief Marku. They were all yeah, down. so we was down there, and 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 uh, Dismo and Suppo came rolling up, and there was like Dismo and came through, and uh, SKC came through. That fool didn't give me no heads up or nothing. So Suppo must have just popped up on him. Right. Anyway, so he came through, and Suppo looked over at me. I was the only motherfucker he he said anything to. Had fools sitting next to me, Lavelle Garcia. You know, we was all playing. We was all playing. He came, he looked at me, and he looked at Disbo, and he's like, "Yo, this is your sailor of the sailor of the quarter right here, over here playing video games, and it, it's like 5:30. <laughs> we still got stuff going on. Like 5:30 p.m. Like motherfucker, I, had I was, collect coins out of the vending machine. This shit don't pop. That's what I was doing. Pain. Yeah, <laughs> I was." So I was the DCPO, Damage Control Petty Officer, which that is a job. Anybody that did DCPO, 
for their divisions knows that that was a full job. And yeah. I was the gee dunk machine guy and the storeroom guy. So I, I had, I was in control of all the storerooms that we had and I was DCPO and then I was the gee dunk machine. Yeah, your time was locked down with all the gee dunk fucking complaints and the uh, storeroom complaints. If you're sitting on the mess stacks and then fools roll up, it's like, yo, what's up with the gee dunk machines? Exactly. <laughs> So yeah, I always maintain those fools. Um, and and I had the storerooms. When we were underway, I had to check them constantly because so does it stack to the ceiling. I had spills all the time. You know, we hitting 20, 30 foot swells out there. Fuck yeah. Oh, and then the soda room when they would break, if they fell and they broke and there's just syrup everywhere. This fool rolls up. He tells, hey, what's your sailor of the quarter doing now? I was like, I look at him, I was like, excuse me? What do you mean? My job's done. And he said, no, the job's not done. You could be in the ship store helping them put away supplies. I was like, ship store? Shit. Have you talked to them? Did you talk to Cash? Did you talk to Dallas? Did you talk to them about this? I can't remember. There was another SH3, the young well, No, Davis. 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 Yeah. That fool, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. He was a cool cat. Honestly, no, he, was, he, was, he was a cool dude. He had, he had, he, he, uh, he had his ups and downs uh, wherever you're on deployment. He was emotional. Yeah, he was super emotional. <laughs> me and me and uh, but, Brian used to fucking kill him for it. But yeah, uh, so, I mean, but I can understand that that was his first way away, his first time away from his family, and like he went, yeah. like he came in and like. We went straight to sea. Yeah. So it was like, he wasn't used, he's not used to this type of environment. Nah, yeah, he so wasn't. I kind of gave him a leeway on it. Right, you can tell but, he wasn't uh, built for it. He wasn't built for it initially. Like, you, that's something he had to, like, grow into. Bro, I heard he got SH2. He, uh, I think he went all the way to first class. So I actually had reached out to him, because there's a weird thing, right? Because I was still in the Navy, so I did I, I, I got out in 2008, well, 2007, at the end of 2007. Oh, so I, I did a second, I did another duty station. You in, did a shore duty? In Maryland. At Walter oh, Reed National, nice. the, the President's Hospital. Yeah. I went there and did logistics, like just same type of shit, but I delivered to um, clinics, right? Supplies. Nice. Yeah, that was the shore duty. So the funny thing is, is on my side is that I was, you know me, right? I was one of those dudes who was like, I don't want to do any of this shit. I don't, I'm just here. I'm doing, I'm going through the motions. I'm enjoying myself, whatever. Like I'm not adhering to the, all the rules. You know what I mean? Whatever. That was your classic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like, yeah. like, everybody knew that. It's yeah. like, dude, I'm just here to do my job. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, don't fuck with me like that. I ain't gonna do it. And if you do fuck with me, I'm gonna be a pain in your ass. I'm gonna be a dickhead. A lot of people probably thought I was a dickhead. I respected that. Yeah. I respected but, that, bro. So no, I was in there cutting hair and um I was negotiating for orders and I'm like, no, I don't like I don't wanna do anything, right? Like I just wanna get out. I'm in there cutting the dickhead. Oh, you're the sure Sir, you remember uh, the Master Chief after the dope Master Chief? Okay, this might have been after me. Yeah, it was after the you. last okay. time I was there it was Master Chief was a um, it was a short black it, dude. It was a short black dude. But you always put those dude, funny. You always put those funny calendars up at the mess in the mess line. But that guy right there, bro, he was all for enlisted. Yes. So it wasn't him. He was, That's what I said. He'll, it, yeah, he'll put it. He'll put it to any officer that thought different because he had 25 years in, and no yeah, officer to lose. was telling him anything. Yeah, yeah, none especially to lose. any officer on that ship. Yeah, no, no, they all respected him like crazy. Yeah, everybody, no, I was definitely. He'd be on the working parties. Boom, boom, humping shit. Right? I had to go to him for a couple of chats, bro. Yeah, we had to put supple in check. Is that a drink chance T-shirt? You know that, though. What the fuck drink champs got to you before us? Oh, I'm oh, mad about yeah, that. Bro. I'm mad about nah, that. Look, check it out, though. <laughs> you probably guys, you guys probably wouldn't have me if it wasn't for drink champs, though. 
Oh, yeah, you're right about that. They we opened it up be, to the rap world. We probably wouldn't be podcasting if it wasn't for Drink Champs, to be honest with you. And that's what I was thinking. Like, Raw Assassin, you know, was like, he, he, he's he got a mentality. His mentality is, is hip hop, right? Ever since I've known, you know, him, he's been, he's been hip hop. Oh, when yeah. he did that shit on the Fantail that day, I was like, damn, I was hungry as fuck. Right. Like, damn, I couldn't get in that, dog. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was like, like who the bro, fuck they, is they this guy? laid it down. Yo, they laid it down, and then San Diego took the prize, and I was like, did these fools listen to anything that they said? Probably not. I was thinking, nah, I was like, Nah, because it was straight hip hop. It was that shit you was playing in the in the right. chip store, you know. <laughs> right. They don't know what a punchline. Like, they don't know what a punchline. Bro. Is. Nah, cause like when I heard him spitting, I was like, that fool can spit, and plus he had that grimy sound, and the lyrics was just off the chart. So it was like, man, I can't remember who he was spitting with because, you know, I really didn't know the other guy, but I knew he him might. Him, he, he'll ch- he'll chime in, I'm sure. He'll let us. Yeah, know. I bet he will. Well, oh, another thing, another thing I wanted to bring up real quick while we're on, while we're on it is like, you didn't like you didn't like the ending of the last episode. I saw I saw your comment there where you were like, why why the fuck you keep ending those episodes like that? <laughs> this last episode that just yeah, yeah, yeah he was yeah, like yeah. he was talking about the chick right? Yeah 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 he got the, the digits and it just cuts off. Yeah, and he was like, and then. Oh, you mother! Hey, it's like, it's like I tell my wife all the time. It's like she's watching her favorite episode. Something interesting, something interesting just just happens in the episode, and then click. You see it next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's the whole point. 